John Kelly, Senior Vice President for Europe, Middle East and Africa for Rolls-Royce. Thank you so much, John, for giving your precious time to us. And uh, the way your show has been great. So can we talk about the Middle East market of Saab? It ha Saab has been in the Middle East for a very long time. And uh, how things have changed from Saab from all these years in Middle East market? Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're very pleased and privileged to be here at the Dubai Air Show 2021. Um, as you say, uh, the Middle East and Africa market for us is extremely important, strategically important. Uh, we've been here for many years in terms of our presence. Um, clearly through the pandemic, there have been difficult times. We collaborated closely with our existing customers, but the important element for, for us in the region is it continues to grow. Uh, and we do foresee uh, important f uh, further growth uh, long into the future. Great. So, uh, what about uh, the R engines, the Rolls Royce engines, which are already deployed in the UAE? Indeed, we've had a long uh, history here in the UAE, um, starting with the um, Trent engine program. Uh, we have historically had uh, the likes of the Trent 700, the Trent 500, and the Trent 800. Uh, presently today, our focus is mainly around the Trent 900 uh, for the uh, Airbus A380, uh, deployed predominantly with Emirates. Um, but we have here at the show the Trent XWB, uh, which is shortly to enter into service with Etihad Airways, so something we're really looking forward to. Uh, right, so can we talk about the Rolls-Royce joint ventures in the Middle East region here? So we've worked closely with uh, many partners uh, around the, the region. Um, we work um, predominantly around some of our uh, maintenance overhaul capabilities uh, within the region. Um, but we've also um, worked closely with many suppliers in the information technology and engineering capability areas. In fact, within our teams today, uh, we have engineers which directly support us uh, from within the region. Okay. And uh, now we come to the engine MRO, if you have an engine MRO established in this region. So, Within the region, our primary uh, work is with Sanad uh, down in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we have a facility there which we uh, focus in on the Trent 700. And in fact, uh, as of next week, we will be marking 10 years of that partnership with, uh, with Sanad. So something we're very pleased of and uh, look forward to working with them in the future. Right. So anything new that has been happening in Dubai Air Show during the three days and today has been the fourth day here? Indeed. So the real theme, the new uh, focus, renewed focus post-pandemic is around sustainability. It's great to see this on the agenda. Rolls-Royce is very committed to play its part in the journey to net zero. Uh, we see simply three, three main focuses, improving the efficiency of the gas turbine, collaborating with our partners around the use of sustainable aviation fuels, and then pursuing uh, new radical technologies such as electrification and hydrogen. Great. Now, there has been an increasing threat in the Middle East for uh, both civil and military. So how much that has changed the marketing strategy for Rolls-Royce? Um, our marketing strategy hasn't changed per se. Uh, we have, as I say, a strategic focus uh, on this market. Uh, we continue to grow working with our existing uh, customer base. So uh, we actually believe this area is uh, a real growth opportunity. Uh, and in terms of its uh, capability, its ambition, uh, and its growth uh, agenda for the future, uh, it's very aligned to those objectives of Rolls-Royce, and we're pleased to be here. From the, uh, from the civil uh, sector of uh, Rolls-Royce, what are your expectations now after this show? So I think the real focus will remain on sustainability. Um, so again, those, those three elements uh, that we drive forward, uh, new gas turbine improvements uh, coming into the market. Um, in addition to uh, our existing engines, we have the Ultrafan, uh, which offers a 25% improvement efficiency-wise over its uh, original engine. So that's a great opportunity for the future, and we look forward to seeing that coming to the market. As I say, uh, close collaboration with key partnerships on sustainable aviation fuel, I think will be a big focus, both with airlines and uh, with the uh, fuel companies in terms of, of how we drive that forwards. And electrification in the small uh, uh, urban mobility vehicle market offers a real exciting opportunity and I suspect we'll see more of that um, post the pandemic and post the air show. Thank you so much, John. Thanks again for your time. Thank it you. has been lovely interacting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice show ahead. Thank you.